is brought to you by Toyota. Moving forward. Hello. Well, we start off the evening talk about, talking about the Almanac. 91, the high today. That's right on par for our average. Once again, 63 are uh, overnight low. 70 degrees, the average low. The records, uh, well, we didn't come near either of them. Uh, within six of the record low at 57. A long-standing record back in 1917. Now we do have a deficit in the rain, but not by much, about eight one-hundredths of an inch. We definitely need some more rain, uh, but we need those slow soaking rains, not those quick downpours. Look outside McGrew Real Estate Tower Cam right now. Another nice evening, 89 degrees our current temperature, 39% humidity. That is not bad considering the time of year that we're at, uh, but I do expect that to continue to climb. Wind right now out of the south at about 9 miles an hour. The heat index at 90 degrees. Local temperatures, 89 in Piper, 92 in Baser, 89 degrees in Tonganoxie. And we're sitting at 91 in Eudorn. Of course, we're sitting at 89 here in Lawrence. Baser was up at 96 or 97 with a couple of temperature readings earlier today. Satellite and radar talked earlier about things being fairly clear. You saw those showers and thunderstorms off into Nebraska. Basically, as soon as they hit the Kansas state line, they fell apart, so we, there wasn't much to those even into the early part of the morning. We were left high and dry as far as the cloud cover was concerned. We've got a south wind at about 9 to uh, 15 miles an hour, depending on where you are. The strongest winds out toward Garden City in the afternoon. We did pull in some 20 mile an hour wind gusts. Right now, the temperature at 89, 93 in Salina. In fact, you're in the heat index. That's the heat and the humidity. Combine those to the skin. It feels 90, like it's 90 in Lawrence, 97 in central Kansas in Salina and of course the high today there 93 degrees we were sitting at 91 degrees now where is that warm air well we take a look nationally and there's basically two spots one out toward well you guessed it Las Vegas nearly 100 degrees there and the other basically overhead from Memphis out toward uh, New Orleans San Antonio into central Texas and then reaching back toward us all the cool air is tucked in closer to well, Canada. So we're going to see the cooler air stay up there. You see the showers and thunderstorms off to the north. Basically, the jet stream is streaming across the northern tier of the United States, fueling a lot of those showers and thunderstorms there. Now for us, well, look at that. There is a severe thunderstorm watch box, and that's about it across most of the United States. High pressure in place. That's catching hold of some of that hot and humid stuff and pushing it back into central Kansas. And that's going to be the case both today, tonight, and tomorrow. Best chance of showers and thunderstorms. Look at Friday. About mid-morning, we see some showers and thunderstorms trying to develop. That could last into the early part of the afternoon. And then things start to kind of clear out after that with another chance, possibly by Saturday evening. 65 degrees tonight, another comfy evening. 92 degrees for tomorrow. The late day clouds do build in in the next several days. Of course, we have the sidewalk sale tomorrow, 92 degrees for your Thursday. Temperatures do cool down a bit on Saturday. If we get some rain showers um, either early or late, early on uh, Friday or late on Saturday, temperatures will probably be into the upper 80s. I guess that's relief. Sure. Things are looking pretty typical, really. Really for July. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.